everyone thinks they're the best until they're put in a situation where they're not. At the end of the day, we'll be ready for the next fight. Shooters ready. Stand by. It's not as important. I'm First Lieutenant John Bodziak. I'm the assistant officer in charge of the Marine Corps shooting team. Along with integrating all of the different uh, disciplines of, of shooting that we did, we also had our, our first two uh, night matches for the Marine Corps Championships. We had a pistol night match, uh, which was uh, white light using weapons lights, and then a rifle night match, which was all under nods uh, using PBS 14s and X15s and 16s. Target point 31, 13. Target point 32, 5. My name is Master Sergeant Nick Capco. I'm the staff in CIC of the Marine Corps shooting team. So as the Marine Corps shooting team, one of the things that we sell is competitive shooting. We want Marines to get out there and compete because it increases their confidence and confidence with a weapon system, which in turn makes them more lethal in combat. One of the things we did this year at Championships was we conducted a World War II stage to pay homage to the Marines that fought in the Pacific. So the Marines, whether they were familiar with an M1 Grand or a 1911, uh, that's something that they had to adapt to in order to maintain competitiveness. All of the Marines on the Marine Corps shooting team, one of the things that we really enjoy about Marine Corps Championships is seeing the growth of all of the competitors and when they walk away at that award ceremony, walking across the stage, getting their handshake, getting that award, um, seeing that medal get put up on their chest, uh, it means a lot because we know that they're gonna take this back to their units, they're gonna train Marines, they're gonna bring more out next year to compete, and at the end of the day, we'll be ready for the next fight as a result.